Tiger Woods required what his doctors called a lengthy surgery to repair significant injuries to his right leg after his car rolled over outside Los Angeles. The more concern I have is with the ankle and the foot. Dr. Zach Barnett is an expert in sports and trauma medicine. Reports indicate Woods' legs suffered comminuted open fractures, meaning the bones broke in more than two places and broke through the skin. But surprisingly, Dr. Barnett believes they are recoverable injuries. They ended up putting a rod inside of his tibia. That rod goes inside the canal of the tibia, and that generally does an excellent job in stabilizing that bone and getting those fractures to heal. But Barnett, who specializes in foot and ankle surgery, said news that Woods had to have his ankle stabilized with screws and pins is concerning. Problem with the foot is there's 28 bones in the foot, and they all work in conjunction together. And if some of those fractures involved the joints, you really can develop early onset arthritis. Dr. Burnett says for a golfer, pain and restriction in the foot and ankle can impact their game because a golf swing involves making an internal and external rotation of the leg. Well, the ankle and the foot really work together for motion. So if he loses some of that motion, either from arthritis or fusions, you know, it can impact the swing. Dr. Barnett thinks at a minimum, Woods will likely be sidelined for up to six to eight months for recovery from his wounds and eventually physical therapy. Amanda Dukes reporting West 2 News.